Along with everything else in pregnancy, picking a supplement for your DHA intake is difficult and there's far too many choices. So here are some hot tips. First, always, always, always when you're looking for a supplement, look at the back of the bottle. Do not trust the front label. So on the back of the bottle, you'll see the supplement facts panel. And on that, you wanna make note of two things. First is the serving size. Does it say one capsule or two capsules or three? And then from that, you look down into, um, and where it says DHA or docosa hexanoic acid and see how much DHA is in a serving size. So if it's 200 milligrams of DHA listed on that sheet for two capsules, you have to take two capsules to get 200 milligrams of DHA. There are hundreds of different types of omega-3 supplements. You can also choose a supplement that is a traditional fish oil with EPA and DHA, uh, as long as there is sufficient DHA in that capsule, which there typically is. Um, and so that's, you don't have to take a pure DHA capsule during pregnancy. Another important thing with taking supplements is to take it with a meal. It is a fat and you want your body to be ready to absorb fat when you're taking it because it's a very special kind of fat. So if you don't take it with a meal, there is a chance that you really won't absorb any of the fats. So you'll be taking the supplement, but you will not be absorbing it and therefore your blood levels won't go up. And that's kind of the whole point. So important to take it with a meal, also important to test to make sure that the supplement you've chosen is working for you. Another um, potentially confusing element about supplements is uh, different formulations. So there's some that are ethyl esters and some that are triglycerides and phospholipids. There's emulsified versions. Um, all of these play a role in how bioavailable the fat is to your body. Um, one way to make sure all of these are bioavailable to your body is to eat the, uh, to have fat when you are taking these fat suppl supplements. Um, and there are small differences. For example, triglyceride or phospholipid forms maybe um, are absorbed a little better than ethyl esters. But at the end of the day, those are very secondary to dose. The amount of DHA you are taking in is by far the most important aspect of how much your DHA blood levels will go up.